What's up, guys? How you doing? It's James here from J-Ray Games and another episode of Reality Insights. And today, I am going to be playing Scanner Somber on the Google Daydream. So let's just jump right into it. All right, well, I am all set up and ready to go. You can see that that's all hooked up nicely. And uh, I got my controller hooked up as well. If you don't know how to set up um, for this, just check out my video above. Um, anyways, I am using the profile for Scanner Somber. Um, I did have to make a change because I noticed as I was playing it there was one thing that made it a little easier. Um, for the bottom touchpad, I set it to touchpad toggle, which basically switches between button pressing and actual touchpad. And I found that there were a couple situations where I had to teleport to a spot and it just wasn't accurate enough by pushing just the up button. I had to actually use the touchpad toggle to get it exactly where I want it to go. Let's jump right in. Okay, so this is Scanner Somber and I'm gonna just resume my game. And let's go. And here's the, this is the idea of this game. It's, it's a very clever idea. You are a cave explorer and you have this device. I can't remember the exact name of the device. And what you do is you scan your environment by moving your hands and placing these dots. I think it's called an IRAD. I can't remember the exact name. Um, anyways, this is the sort of premise of the game. And you go through these caves and you explore these environments. And as you can see, I'm on a swivel chair. I'm rotating around. And I, you go through these caves this cave um, exploring. Now, if you don't scan the environment, you are in the dark and you don't see anything. Uh, but it, it is really immersive because as you're going through this cave system, um, you know, certain details start to kind of appear as you explore. And this is already an area I've explored. But it is really, really cool. And, you know, the graphics, again, um, are, are well suited for VR, in my opinion. Because, again, you're, you're feeling that immersion as you're in this cave and exploring. I don't want to ruin the story. I don't want to, um, no spoilers in this video. But there is an actual story to this. Um, and you know, you find out that there are other things going on in this cave. Um, I am going to go this way, so I think I'm going to be facing away from you guys. But as you can see, it works really well. When I'm on a swivel chair, I can just rotate my body and go whatever direction I need to go. And I'm just using that single controller. And you can see that you know, it works really, really great. I can scan my environment, I can move my hand, and I can explore this cave just with a single controller. All right, there isn't really a combat or, yeah, there's no, there's no fighting in this game or anything. It's more of an ex exploration type of a game. But like I said, there is a story to it, and uh, it is, it keeps it, it keeps it interesting enough that you know you'll want to play to the end it's not a very long game you know a few hours i would say and you you can be done this all right but it is an interesting concept for sure um it's it's definitely a different way of exploring in a first person sort of environment so if i get into an area here where i have to be very precise about where i'm moving i set the down button to activate the touchpad and you can see that, uh, hopefully you can see that, regularly you would just push up and teleport. And you don't really have any control, it just kind of teleports you forward. If I push the down button, now I can use my finger to activate the touchpad and I can put that dot exactly where I want it to go. And in some cases you'll come to a ledge or something and you have to be very precise about you know where you're going and and you know if you if you don't want to fall off the edge or whatever so that was one thing that i set anyways as you can tell it's a very cool game um i know the reviews were not that great for the uh just the pc version but i would say that the vr version is much more interesting 
and uh, definitely, definitely in immersive enough to, to play for a while. And uh, you're going to like this experience. It's definitely a unique experience. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, that was Scanner Somber. And it is a fun game that plays great on the Daydream. Super immersive and a really great experience. If you find this content useful, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you got any questions, comment down below. Check out our Patreon if you want to support us as well. Till next time, thanks for watching and see you guys in VR.